Holy Lesbo Batman is the third episode of Fan Actress. And I have to say, it's not too bad at all. I'm definitely not loving this series as much as I love Kirsty, the series that came a few years after this. But I think it's finally finding its feet. This episode, of course, directed by Keith Truesdell, and it aired originally in 2005. And in this one, Kirsty is trying to meet Gwen Stefani, who is her next door neighbour. And the reason this comes about is because she kind of accidentally thinks she's stolen Gwen, Gwen Stefani's dash hunt. But it turns out she's stolen Maya and Bialik's dash hunt instead. And the dog is adorable. It's a very gorgeous little doggy. And she, along with the help of Eddie and Kevin decide to go out for a walk and plan to bump into Gwen Stefani, things don't exactly go to plan. And I won't say any more than that about the narrative um, or what happens, but I didn't mind it too much. I kind of liked the whole the whole walk around the neighbourhood and seeing the houses. It gave us a lot more space to play with, uh, and I think it really utilised that space um, very effectively. Maya and Bialik being in this was wonderful. Uh, I really liked her role in this. Um, and I think her on-screen chemistry with Kirsty worked very well as well. So that aspect of it I thought was pretty good. Um, there does seem to be at least one guest star playing themselves in each episode. Uh, and this one definitely worked. Um, there are things in this that are going to be offensive to some people, I think. That's definitely the case with Fat Actress. It seems to be very on the nose all of the time. And I don't mind that. I've got quite a dark sense of humour a lot of the time. And... You know, I think being self-depreciating is also kind of a very, almost very positive form of comedy. But I know that some people are not a fan of that. So that's definitely something to bear in mind. I don't have too many other thoughts about this episode. To be honest, not a lot happens. Um, there's not a lot going on. But it still passes quite quickly and it still flowed very well. And I thought it was pretty decent. It's kind of an insight into some of the wackier side of living in Hollywood, I guess. Um... Kirsty was on top form, uh, enjoyed her performance, as is always the case. I do think that the show is taking a bit of time to get going and to find its voice and to find its feet, but I think by this third episode, it's getting there. It's still not as hilarious as Kirsty, the TV series, but I'm enjoying it. I don't remember watching it the first time in too much detail, so a lot of the things I've forgotten about. Um, so it's definitely a different experience, but... It's not going to be for everybody. And I think that's probably why it only had one season. But if you're the target audience, ultimately, if you're a fan of Kirsty Alley, I think you're probably going to like it. Holy Lesbo Batman is not a bad episode. 